and welcome to Books of Blood. My name is John, and once again, we're going to be continuing with 50 years of horror fiction, and we are moving into the 2000s, starting, of course, with the year 2000. All right, so I've got five books here, so let's go ahead and get the show on the road, okay? All right, first up, we've got Under the Skin, and this is by Mikkel or Michelle Faber. Easterly cruises the Scottish highlands picking up hitchhikers. Scarred and awkward, yet strangely erotic and threatening, she listens to her hitchhikers as they open up to her, revealing clues about who might miss them if they should disappear. Under the Skin takes us on a heart-thumping ride through dangerous territory, our own moral instincts, and the boundaries of compassion. That is Under the Skin by Michelle or Michelle, Michelle or Mikkel Faber. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. It's M I C H E L. So, uh, and I've got kind of a love hate relationship with Under the Skin. Uh, I didn't read the book. I haven't read the book, but I saw the movie. I didn't like the movie. It just wasn't for me. And at the time, I was writing movie reviews on my uh, on my blog, Written in Blood. And I reviewed it, and I gave it a bad review. And this guy just totally laid into me on social media, on Facebook. You know, just laid into me about how stupid I was, how idiotic I was, how great this movie is, how I didn't know the first thing about movies. And I'm just like, it's my opinion. I'm entitled to it. You know? But he wouldn't shut up. I finally had to just leave the group and you know it's just like really seriously I don't have an opinion I'm not entitled to it you douchebag anyway I'm sorry I'm getting off on a tangent here I apologize for that anyway so next up we've got a lower deep and this is by Tom Piccarilli a man known only as the necromancer and his demonic familiar named self wander the spectral highways of the countryside incurring the wrath of both heaven and hell and facing the curses of the damned. But it's a figure from his past that may drive the necromancer into a hell even he cannot escape. Jebediah, Jebediah de Lancre, the leader of the necromancer's old coven, has created a new coven, an evil band determined to use the black arts for their own hideous deeds. The, nec the necromancer is forced to return to his home, a place haunted by memories where years earlier his original coven was destroyed and where Danielle, the only love of his life, met an awful death. Together with Self, the necromancer must battle not only his former master, but the members of the new coven and the jealous ghost of his old one, all the while taunted by the possibility that Danielle may return from the dead. And that is... What is that? Oh my gosh. A Lower Deep by Tom Piccarilli. Alright, next up we've got The Traveling Vampire Show by Richard Lehman. When the one night only traveling vampire show arrives in town, promising the only beautiful, only, excuse me, the only living vampire in captivity, beautiful Valeria, three local teenagers venture where they do not belong and discover much more than they bargained for. And that is the traveling vampire show. And that is by Richard Lehman. Alright, next we've got Shapeshifter, and this is by J.F. Gonzalez. Mark Wiseman, is, excuse me, Mark Wiseman has been living with the curse for years. He thought he had it under control. He thought he had kept it secret from everybody. Until Bernard Roberts, a powerful, influential man, came into his life. Bernard knows about the curse that runs through Mark's veins. He knows how Mark's parents were killed eight years ago. And if Mark wants Bernard to keep these things secret, he must do what Bernard tells him. He must use his curse to kill. Bernard Roberts wants to exploit Mark for his own purposes, and Mark Wiseman begins to lose control of the curse, threatening his own life and the life of the woman he loves. And that is Shapeshifter. And that is by J.F. Gonzalez. All right, next up, and I think this is the last one. Yes, it is. Next up, we have got From the Corner of His Eye. And this is by Dean Kuntz. 
His birth was marked by wonder and tragedy. He sees beauty and terror beyond our deepest dreams. His story will change the way you see the world. Bartholomew Lampion is born on a day of tragedy and terror that will, and terror that will mark his family forever. All agree that his unusual eyes are the most beautiful they have ever seen. On this same day, a thousand miles away, a ruthless man learns that he has a mortal enemy named Bartholomew. He embarks on a relentless search to find this enemy, a search that will consume his life. And a girl is born from a brutal rape, her destiny mysteriously linked to Barty and the man who stalks him. At the age of three, Barty Lampion is blinded when surgeons remove his eyes to save him from a fast-spreading cancer. As he copes with his blindness and proves to be a prodigy, his mother counsels him that all things happen for a reason, and that every person's life has an effect on every other person's in often unknowable ways. At 13, Bartholomew regains his sight. How he regains it, why he regains it, and what happens as his amazing life unfolds and entwines with other results in a breathtaking journey of courage, heart-stopping suspense, and high adventure. And that is from the corner of his eye. And that is by Dean Kuntz. And that is going to do it for the year 2000. So, until next time, thank you. And take care. And stay scared. Bye-bye.